What if humans just stopped having babies and started vanishing into thin air? Imagine a world where playgrounds are silent, baby stores are shuttered, and the only thing growing is the line at the retirement home bingo night. Birth rates are crashing worldwide. Some countries might lose half their people by 2100. Are we doomed to disappear, or is this just a bizarre blip in human history? Let's dive into the science of shrinking populations, the chaos of an aging planet, and the downright hilarious problems that might pop up along the way, with a mix of curiosity, panic, and a healthy dose of dark humor to keep things light. For most of history, humanity's population barely grew. Plagues, wars, and famines kept us in check. We were lucky to hit a few million by the 1700s. Then came the Industrial Revolution, and everything changed. Better healthcare, more food, and fewer early deaths sent our numbers soaring. According to UN data, by 2023, we will hit 8 billion, up from just 1 billion in 1800. It was like humanity threw a massive growth party. But now, the music's slowing down. We're not having enough babies to keep the population steady, and this baby shortage is global. To stay stable, every couple needs about 2.1 kids to replace themselves. More, and we grow. Less, and we shrink. Right now, we're shrinking, fast. In East Asia, it's a baby crisis. South Korea's fertility rate in 2022 was a measly 0.9 kids per woman, per global stats. That means 100 people today have 45 kids, who have 20 kids, who have 9. In 100 years, that's a 91% drop in young people. Japan's losing people so quickly that rural towns are turning into ghost villages, and China might see its population cut in half by 2100 if trends continue. Even Europe's in trouble. Italy's median age is 48, meaning half the country is over 48. Imagine a world where the hottest new trend is orthopedic shoes. Why are babies becoming so rare? It's a mix of modern life and hard choices. As countries get wealthier, people have fewer kids. Careers, education, and city living take over. Babies are expensive, too. Think diapers, daycare, and college tuition piling up like a financial avalanche. A big family feels like a massive commitment in a world where everyone's chasing their dreams. Women are more independent now, which is fantastic but it often means putting off or skipping parenthood. And the pressure is real. Parents today juggle jobs, kids, and sky-high housing costs, all while society expects them to have it all. Picture a new parent, juggling a baby in a briefcase, muttering, I can't afford this. Maybe I'll just get a pet rock instead. Here's where it gets messy. The population isn't just shrinking, it's getting old. In 1960, Japan's median age was 22. Now it's 49. By 2100, it could hit 55 per demographic forecasts. Half the country will be seniors. South Korea and China are following the same path. By 2050, China's workforce might shrink by 150 million, like losing half of Europe's workers. Fewer young people means more pressure on them to support retirees. Healthcare costs explode, pensions dry up, and governments scramble to keep the lights on. Imagine a 90-year-old worker, still on the job, grumbling, I'm too old for this. Where's my robot helper? Empty towns can't afford to fix roads or keep schools running. In Japan, rural areas are already ghost towns, with abandoned homes and closed shops. And don't think fewer people means more resources. Wealth comes from people's ideas and work, not just stuff sitting there. Fewer workers mean less innovation, slower growth, and a smaller pie to share. Plus, an older society might focus on short-term fixes, like saving pensions, while ignoring significant issues like climate change. Imagine a room full of seniors arguing over budget cuts while the planet heats up outside, and someone sighs, we'll deal with that after bingo. Can we stop humans from vanishing? Immigration could help. Bring in young people from places with more babies, like parts of Africa. But it's a temporary fix. Immigrants' birth rates drop to match the locals after a generation or two, and cultural clashes can complicate things. Some countries offer baby bonuses or free daycare to boost birth rates, but it's not enough. People want kids. Surveys show they'd like two or three, but modern life makes it challenging. 
Imagine a government official handing out cash for babies, pleading, please save humanity. Here's a coupon for diapers. Humans won't vanish entirely. We'll keep growing for a few decades, hitting 10 billion by 2080 per UN estimates. But then we'll shrink, and the world will be older and quieter. We must rethink how we live, work, and support each other. Picture a rare baby in a future city with everyone waving, you're our hope, grow up quick. It's a demographic roller coaster, but we've survived worse. We'll figure this out one step at a time.